this is a next business practice that you can uh, you know make it a rule in your in your DC any product any product just one unit or two units three units whatever it is any product group of products any set of products that you're moving always gets an LPN you always apply an LPN LPN stands for license plate number and it's a you know it's, it could be called as a case number it's always apply that LPN to even one product or two products two product, three product that, that moves together in the DC. And then the second rule is always scan this LP into a location, right? It could be a dock door location. It could be a, uh, you know, receiving staging location right in the dock door. It could be a, uh, you know, some uh, problem location. It could be a exceptional hospital lane, right? So um, what it helps with is, you know, it always helps you find that product. You know, you have visibility to what that product is, where that is sitting in your whole, you know, it could be a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, three hundred thousand, four hundred thousand dollar. I mean, a square feet facility. So you know exactly where the product is. You know what that product is. So because you can look up in the system by an LPN, by and also you know search by location, and and also you know you you probably have some kind of an aging report that you're running. Hey, why is this queue sitting there for such a long time? I mean, what are my SKUs items that are sitting in the DC like? without moving for the last 90 days or 180 days or 360 days, right? So when you run all these aging reports, you'll get those, right? You'll get those, you'll know why they've not moved. And sometimes, I believe it, um, believe it or not, um, you know, I've seen where, especially in the, uh, where you're buying, you know, product from small, small vendors and they're all shipping parcels. Um, and a box shows up, it doesn't have a label or the label is damaged. It does not have a packing slip and, and, and nobody knows where it came from and why it is there, right? There is no way to track it back to an ASN or track it back to some kind of a, a vendor or a customer order or purchase order that was placed, right? It's, it just sometimes gets tricky and you run into that scenario. So when you run into that scenario, you take that and apply an LP and, and then scan it to a location, keep it there until, you know, again, it's visible in your system or, or somebody comes asking for that specific a skew and you open it and see, wow, oh, this is what I'm looking for. Uh, I have no idea how it showed up, but it's here. And, and, and supposedly, and then you get a call from a vendor, hey, you know, hopefully you received this and we shipped this already. And, uh, you know, when can we get paid? Right. Um, so, so, you know, it, it helps a lot when you apply an LP into every single product or every group of products. I mean, in a normal scenario, everything will be fine because you're receiving a PO, receiving a shipment. You know, you know what is in the packing slip, you know, based on the packing slip, you know, you know, every, everything, which vendor it came from when you're receiving that specific shipment and then verifying the shipment, the vendor gets paid and you have the product going in, you know, it's sitting in your, I mean, we're going to your reserve and then to the active and all that. So everything is good, but sometimes in exception scenarios, if something happens, you always can, you know, assign an LP into that group of product or the small box, whatever it is, and move that, you know, by scanning it to a location, right? So, so from a visibility perspective, you always have visibility. So if you follow this pretty consistently throughout your facility, you will, you, it'll be so easy to track everything in your system, right? It will not be, you'll not be in a situation where, oh, something showed up and completely lost. And I've heard horror stories where, you know, these uh, 3PLs shipped uh, some product on behalf of another customer and the product showed up and nobody looked at it and nobody knew the product was there. And, and after some time, it's like completely damaged and everybody found it like six after six months or something. And it's, you know, it cannot be sold anymore. I've heard horror stories like that. So, you know, this is something to think about, you know, assigning LP and make that a thumb rule for operations in your DC, right? Any any product that comes assign an LP into it and then move it by scanning the LP and always scan it to a location. So you know where the product is, you know, if, if it shows up, you know where to go and look for. So hopefully this is helpful. Uh, please, you know, check out other best practices we have in our YouTube channel and share your thoughts, share your comments. And, uh, you know, we'd love to, um, you know, uh, hopefully, you know, love to help you however we can. Uh, thank you.